the most iconic mechanical digital watches ever made comes from the house of Alanganzuna and IWC with their famous Pell Weber. When most think of digital displays, they think of the iconic Casio G-Shock simply because of the lack of hands to tell the time. While most digital watches are in fact affordable quartz pieces, we need to understand where the word digital originated from before talking about the Zeitwerk and how a mechanical watch can be digital at the same time. When thinking of the word digital, you immediately recognize digit in the name, which in watches means displaying the time using numbers rather than hands. The word digital originated back in the 15th century and it derived from the Latin word digitus, which means numbers. Essentially bringing us to the conclusion that the word digital has nothing to do with the mechanism powering the watch, but instead has to do with the way we tell time. As you might expect, creating a fully mechanical watch with no electronic properties assisting it can be quite challenging. A brand like Lange had to use a complicated system called a remontoir to hold the power and release it precisely every 60 seconds. This allows the minute display to flip over perfectly every 60 seconds, which ultimately means your watch will keep accurate time. In typical Lange fashion, you get an incredibly over-engineered piece of art. Watch finished to an astonishing level that you could only find with the top brands in the world. The Zeitwerk is a mechanical marvel, but first, what exactly are we looking at? At a glance, the watch seems complicated, and to be honest, it's a little intimidating to look at. But as soon as you realize what each window and subdial does, you then realize the genius behind the design. The window on the right gives you the minutes, the window on the left gives you the hours, the subdial on the bottom gives you the seconds, and finally the subdial on the top lets you know how much left you have of these 36 hours of power reserve. While 36 might not seem impressive on paper, as you might have guessed, the amount of energy that is needed to have the minutes leap every 60 seconds and once every hour is very challenging. The way Lange was able to regulate the amount of energy needed is by making its special escapement in between the barrel and the balance wheel. As mentioned, the disc that changed the minutes gets the power from the remontoir that releases it accurately every 60 seconds. Taking a look at the movement as a whole, the architecture and the finishing on the L043 caliber is as we expect from the brand. Pure art and luxury. The patina German silver plates provide a warm and relaxing look to the high-end finishing and hand engraving on the movement. Wearing this piece was an absolute pleasure. The white gold case gave the watch nice enough heft to it and the 41.9mm by 12.6mm thickness made the watch sit comfortably on my 6.5 inch wrist. From a distance, I used to always think the Zeitwerk was a piece to wear to special occasions. That said, after handling the watch and getting to know it, the watch is more than capable of being an everyday piece. Not to mention, reading the time is not only an experience with the Zeitwerk, but arguably, it is one of the most legible watches in the world. If you're interested in any watch from Alang and Zuna, make sure you check out our website tickingway.com. We have the largest selection of Alang and Zuna, alongside a lot of really cool watches from brands like F.P. Jorn, Kerry Vudelainen, Gronfeld, and many more. If you have any questions or concerns, or if you would like to learn more about the specific brand you're looking at, make sure you email us or give us a call over at Ticking Way. Ticking Way is a company that's ran by real watch collectors, and every single watch we curate over at the site are watches we would personally buy as collectors ourselves. So feel free to contact us at any time. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. Please let us know in the comments what you think about the Alanganzuna Zeitwerk. And as always, I will see you in the next one.